Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club. On Friday, July the 29th, this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California Thoroughbred Racing Report. Let's go to Race 7 feature this afternoon, folks, 7 p.m. Pacific Post Time. Just a reminder, on Fridays in the summer at Del Mar, post time for Race 1 is at 4 p.m. Normally, during the rest of the racing days uh, here at Del Mar, post time for Race 1, 2 p.m. Race 7, the Cougar 2 Handicap, 12 furlongs on the cushion track, 3 year olds and up race for $125,000. Contenders number 1, Bourbon Bay, number 4, Setsuko, number 6, Dahoud, and number 8, Oil, is Black Gold. Number 1, Bourbon Bay, takes a class draft of 5 units as the pace profile leader in this stakes field, has produced power run performances in each of his last 5 outings, hitting the board in 3 of those efforts including a power run win facing slightly better company in his fifth race back. Number four, Setsuko, the morning line favorite, has turned in four consecutive power runs, including back-to-back -back power run place finishes facing better company in his second and third races back. Race seven summary, number one, Bourbon Bay, tops my contenders list, which also includes number four, Setsuko, number six, Dahold, and number eight, Oil is Black Gold. That's one, four, six, eight in the seventh for Delmar, the $125,000 Cougar 2 handicap. Bonus long shots, Woodbine, race three, the eight to one shot. Number five, Blindside hit, the overall speed leader in this climbing field, sprinting at today's distance, the six furlongs on the dirt. Mountaineer Park, racing tonight, race two, the 10 to one bomb. Number three, Kokomo Gypsy, better overall speed, sprinting at six furlongs in the dirt than the favorite, number eight. Soup of Earl. So from Del Mar on a Friday afternoon, Rick David for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.